kids love making music. There's a peace that comes over you and you feel, you feel accomplished. I think it does build resilience. Their string project had the uh, potential to be life-changing for some of the kids that I was going to work with and, and I was not disappointed. Creates a place in them uh, to build confidence so that they can go out and become who they want to become. You hone in on what, what's, what do you want? Who are you and what are you going to do? And, and the project helps you find that. I started as a student back in 2007 and worked my way through the program um, all the way up to the Lowell Youth Orchestra, graduated high school, and then I came to UMass Lowell where I became a teaching artist and eventually a conductor of the Achille Rondo program. I had a wonderful family and I grew up with so many wonderful friends. I also grew up with friends who didn't have as much and didn't have as many opportunities. And those of us who were in String Project together, we learned together that we could do anything that we wanted to. I graduated UMass Lowell in 2020, and now I am a second year law student at Suffolk University Law School in Boston. Now in law school, I'm on the national trial team where I'm constantly giving performances, and that skill most certainly came from String Project. I want to be a trial attorney one day. This program stands for so much more than playing music. It's not just after school music class. It is a place where kids get to come together, a place where kids get to be safe, place where kids can learn and grow and learn that they can do anything. I had the privilege to uh, work from the very beginning uh, in creating what is still the String Project. So um, a colleague of mine had received a grant from the American String Teachers Association. She asked if I was interested in overseeing the project, implementing in, in the Lowell Public Schools. And I love music and I wanted to share it and um, give, you know, kind of transfer that, that positive feeling about making music to the kids. I wanted to be able to teach anyone who wanted to play, not just someone who could afford to. I wanted to, to just plant, you know, possibilities for them, you know, for, for the future. So in addition to the Lowell Public School students, university students would be given the opportunity to participate as assisting teachers. So I grew up in a sort of environment that didn't necessarily promote music learning, especially classical string learning. But being in the string project gave me the agency to be able to, to be passionate about violin playing. Um, further along into the string project, what it gave me as a student is the sense of belonging. One of the things that I really liked was the amount of energy the teachers were able to bring into the classroom and having them display so much vigor within their teaching styles really started to emulate through us as students too. And I climbed my way all the way through senior year of high school and became a teaching artist um, my first year of college at the University of Massachusetts, Lowell. My second year of teaching, I became the prelude conductor. And now in my 18th year with the String Project, I am assisting with conducting with the Lowell Youth Orchestra. Uh, the sense of pride as a teacher came about um, my first time conducting Prelude. If you're up there giving it your all and providing that energy, they're going to soak that in and be, become passionate with you and want to work harder with you. And then you sort of you know, get into this like synergistic agreement. We're here to make music and we're here to feel good, so let's do it. Uh, 
I came into UMass Lowell and I was coordinator of uh, music education and worked very closely with Kay Roberts. Also, over the years, uh, we aligned our string pedagogy class with the string project, with the first year string project students, so that it's a learning lab for our uh, music education students who have to learn all the instruments. And it's, <laughs> it's also, um, you know, a great opportunity for my students, the music education students, to mentor the younger students and they're learning side by side. So they're the big ped pals. And part of why the String Project was created was to help develop some instrumental music with the Lowell Public Schools. And also, I started, when I got here, I developed more of a relationship with the, with the music teachers in the Lowell community. Uh, and they're the ones who would recommend their students to be part of the String Project. Our students are going into their school, you know, into the classes, they're doing their field experiences. Um, and we even, at some point, um, decided several years into the program to offer string education all the way up through high school. So we have kids coming in third and fourth grade going all the way up to the high school level. And it's these high school kids who I've really gotten to know who eventually come in as students here. Whether they're in our music program or majoring in something else, they still work as teaching artists with the um, string project kids. So it's, it's a great, um, cycle of seeing the kids grow up and then having them teach the next generation of string kids. It's been wonderful. I love the opening for Tchaikovsky's Seven Aiden Strings, you know, and it's just an amazing thing. It's just powerful and beautiful. And at that time, I think we had six or eight cellos who could really scream and it was like so powerful. So we started playing it and uh, I look and, and the little one is crying. She never heard anything so beautiful. And, and you know, mom's, you know, comforting her and she was crying and she felt so beautifully moved by that piece of music. The emotion that goes with this, the passion that comes out of it, uh, when you finish and you're drained and you don't want to do anything else, you, you've just finished and that's it. Dr. Roberts, along with the rest of the school, did this project. It was very successful in urban areas throughout the country. I believe it started out with four or five, and by the time we were involved, I think there were 12 or 14. And it just, it just brought people to the community, to the school itself, and gave a great opportunity. The students of the university are the people who actually run the whole program, okay? First year students became their own group leaders, they became the ensemble leaders, So for a lot of the students, um, especially the, I think they're like in their mid twenties now, I started with a group of students in the fourth grade and I was with them all the way to pretty much their senior year of high school. Um, so I started through, you know, them being elementary school students, not really maybe understanding the violin or being super excited about playing string instruments um, and just trying to like get them, you know, you know, can't go to the bathroom during this time or you have to pay attention and just doing that. And then they got to middle school, which tends to be a little bit tougher with puberty and development. So, you know, working with the different attitude changes and the different life changes that the students are going through. And then finally, when they're in, you know, high school, getting ready for college, it was talking about, you know, what your future plans are. Are you going to keep playing? You know, what are the relationships we're going to continue to have after you leave? And seeing a lot of the students go from, you know, being in the classroom to helping out in the classroom. That was really fun um, getting those students to start to mentor the students that were really young when they first got in. 
I had a couple of different roles while I was here. I started out as just a you know regular everyday classroom teacher. Um, as I got through the program, by the time I was done, I ended up being sort of like an executive assistant to the executive director, and I was also um, the conductor for the Lowell Youth Symphony Orchestra. Now I work as an associate dean of admission with Stonehill College uh, for diversity, recruitment, and access. And it really taught me about working with people of different backgrounds, uh, from different communities, and that's why a lot of my work now is rooted in diversity and access, because the String Project program um, is a program for students who don't have access to music programs like they would in other towns. Um, so it just kind of led from that to doing what I do now, and I'm just really happy. You're learning about yourself, you're learning how to express yourself, you're learning how to um, be confident in that expression, to not apologize for what you're saying, but to say it proudly and to have an opinion. And I think that, that finding your voice there is, is, uh, is so important. Uh, it's something that we put an emphasis on here, but it's something I've experienced for, for years now. So I have been working in the program since 2010, so it's been 12 years now. I started out as an undergrad at UML. Uh, it's just a teaching artist, a TA, uh, and I sort of worked my way all the way up to now executive director, uh, and it's been, a, it's been a ride. In the students, you could see ones that maybe started out as very shy, uh, and that includes the, the student teachers as well, that started out as very shy, and sort of grow into the person that uh, they had wished to become when they were younger all sorts of different family backgrounds coming into it, uh, and yet we're all finding um, common ground here. And I think that process of finding common ground with people that have different backgrounds than you uh, is extremely humbling, and it's, it, it very much builds your connectedness to others. I am a former student of the String Project for 10 years and am currently a teaching assistant. I like to think of it as the thing that like kind of got me into music. It's what got me into performing and subsequently into, you know, producing. I discovered that, that playing music was like a thing that I enjoyed and that it was something that when I did it um, and did it well, you know, like felt good. Um, which up to that point, I think I hadn't quite found my like thing yet. I think a community aspect to it that really helped me learn a lot better than say if it was just like I was just doing like one-on-one -on -one stuff on a weekly basis for it's a really welcoming and inspiring community that is just host to a lot of great and wonderful people who are doing like great and wonderful things and I think that's like the sort of the inspiration to to keep with it. The first time seeing the the kids that you've been teaching and working with actually do a performance that's like really something special and a level of like emotion that I wasn't ready for kind of caught me off guard like I expected to feel grateful I expected to feel proud but I was like I was like tearing up a little it was like really it was a, it was like a big moment for me it was in my role as fine arts chair um, that I was most directly involved with the string project because the university was one of our many partners. Um, but prior to that, I was involved simply as a dutiful auntie who came to the concerts because my niece was one of the earliest students of the project. And Susan was the, the master teacher for so many years and, and you know, developed that love for it in so many kids. Um, uh, John Morgan Bush, when he came in, um, he breathed new life into the program and were able to connect and get more kids from the school system into the program, connect with the community at large. And I did it as part of our uh, Lowell Public School community partnership piece and helping with getting the string project um, into the schools so that the kids in second and third grade could see what it was about. The student population that we serve in Lowell deserves to have the same musical opportunities and the same learning opportunities as the kids in Winchester and the kids in Lexington and the kids in Belmont. You know, the, our kids are 
just as bright, just as talented, just as worthy. I was part of the String Project as an undergrad from 2007 to 2011, and I was the master teacher from 2018 until the spring of 2021. Teaching and my experience in the project, it, it always comes down to relationships and the relationships that I made and the relationships that I had with students and colleagues. Two of the students who had grown up through the program, Rachel Record and Josh Santana, were my students when I was an undergrad. And seeing them grow up, it, it feels like a community being back here because I knew them when they were kids. I knew Rachel when she was nine. And she's a law student now. <laughs> It's amazing. Like I, I was in college when she was nine years old, and now she's a friend, and I pl and I play with her, and and you know the the friends I've made in the project too. We all had this shared experience of doing this together. At different times, we've moved in and out, and so there's this link that kind of keeps the community growing through time too. The friends that I was in the project with are people that I'm close with today. People coming to my wedding in a few months. It is family, you know, because in some ways it's you, you're growing with these people, you're learning about yourself as a teacher, as an artist, as a person, how you deal with different situations, how you make connections with people. Um, and our roles, you know, it, it's, it's kind of like a family in that your role changes over time. You know, once I was a teaching artist and I was an undergrad, and then I came back in between just as like a guest player but seeing everybody and then I came back as master teacher and now I'm moving on and passing that to somebody else but I'm still in contact and and close with many of these people in the project so it's like a family it's like you grow and you change and then you pass the baton to someone else. I'm Bridget Marshall. I'm the mom of a String Project participant uh, named Lucy, and she has been with String Project since she was in the third grade in 2016. She's an eighth grader now, so I've been able to watch her develop over her years of participating. It's a sort of safe place that String Project makes for young people to you know, become performers, I think is really important and a, a really valuable thing. Even if they don't go on to be professional mus musicians, um, being able to stand up in front of a crowd, being able to uh, have confidence when you are on stage, whether that's literally or in sort of a smaller situation like giving a presentation at work, like that's important. And so I think that is a skill, that's a, a confidence that they'll take with them in whatever they do. With String Project, I have full confidence that um, she's being engaged, she's connecting socially with her peers, she's connecting socially with older, young people who she can aspire to be with, be like uh, in the future. She's meeting terrific role models. Our, our UMass Lowell students who are running String Project are just fantastic. And so I love that those are the college students that she is meeting and aspiring to be. When you think of three words that, that sum up like the, the being of the String Project, uh -huh. what is that? Oh, the three words, it's ridiculous. Resiliency. Passion. Trust. Loving. Respect your culture. Mentorship. And joy. Meaningful. The community. Pride. Nourishes. Powerful. Fortitude. Musicality. Support. And nurturing. Resilience. Joy. Be advocacy. And absolute beauty. That's the third. That's what this program is. This feeds my soul. Spread your wings and fly. 